need to get ready for the next hurricane. Uh, this is not going to be the last one. Tonight, a wake up call from Senator John Cornyn. Even before the cleanup is complete from Laura, he's focused on major projects to better protect the Upper Texas coast. And there are two projects that you'll likely hear a lot more about in the coming years. One is known as Sabine Pass to Galveston Bay, the other known as the Coastal Spine or the Ike Dyke. Both would cost a lot of money, but Senator Cornyn says they'd save us money in the long run. It's, it's hard just to get free money from Washington, D.C. But Senator John Cornyn says millions of us along the Texas coast are counting on it. We talked a little bit about the Sabine uh, Pass to Galveston project and the enhancement of the levee system there, which is part of the storm surge system that we've been working on for years. 12 News Investigates looked into that project two years ago. The Army Corps of Engineers wants to raise existing levees and build miles of new ones. It's something civil engineers like Ron Arsenault know is needed. The biggest threat, uh, in my opinion, is from storm surge. If our levee system were ever breached, there are maps that show the extent of how far the, the flooding would go. The levee project is currently in the pre-construction engineering and design phase, according to the senator's office. The coastal spine project, a giant barrier off the coast, is still being studied. We're expecting a report from the Army Corps of Engineers by March on their recommenda recommended design. And then it's up to working with each of the uh, uh, stakeholders there, the state legislature and the governor to figure out what what's the right design, and then we have to figure out uh, how to pay for it. And certainly that's a process that could take years. You can watch my entire interview with Senator Cornyn. It's posted now on our 12 News Now YouTube page.